What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC 2021 Series 10 video. Today I have this Ho-Oh Swamper team that I built this morning. We're going to be testing it out on the ladder today. I don't know how well it's going to do and I have played a couple of games with it and we've been doing pretty good, but I'm not fully confident in it yet, but I figured since we're on low ladder with, you know, the new ladder being up, it's not, like <laughs> we haven't had time to just ladder up yet. Uh, I figured it'd be a nice video to record, but yeah, if you guys enjoy this standpoint in time, do me a favor, leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications because I bring you daily Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC content. And that's for my comment question of the day. Which one of the three genies do you think is going to be the most viable in the upcoming format? I'm running a Life Orb Landorus on this team because I think it's actually really powerful. And alongside Regieleki, it's a really, really oppressive lead in certain situations. So yeah, let me know. And if you guys want to watch some in-game content, I'm going to be streaming at 5.30 CST tonight on Twitch. I'm going to be using my Eternatus team on Cartridge and just trying to find some battles of that to record. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into the video. So we have the Citrus Berry Swampert set from yesterday's video. We're running Wide Guard, High Horsepower, Liquidation, and Yawn. 196 HP, 68 or 68 defense, 244 special defense with a careful nature. That allows me to take a timid plus two special attack Xerneas Moonblast and survive to go for a yawn or whatever. We also get three hit KO'd by plus one Zacian Sacred Sword. So yeah, we have a Safety Goggles Ho-Oh, Regenerator, Sacred Fire, Brave Bird, Whirlwind Protect. Safety Goggles allows me to prevent Volcarona and Amoongus from defending the Xerneas by going for Rage Powder, and it also allows me to block Spore or Sleep Powder if we encounter those. We have an EV spread that looks pretty intricate, but it's pretty basic actually. Uh, we're going to be outspeeding Pokemon that are base 111 and below if they get Electrowebbed by Regieleki, and we have enough special defense to tank an Origin Pulse from Timid Max Special Attack Kyogre while also getting 3 hit KO'd by Zacian's Behemoth Blade at plus 1. We have an Assault Vest Rillaboom, just the one I've been running for like the past 10 videos. Fake Out, U-Turn, Grassy Glide, Wood Hammer, Tanks a Hurricane, Tanks Water Spouts. Focus Sash, Regieleki, Electra, Volt Switch, Protect, Thunderbolt, Timid. Uh, and we have a Life Orb Landorus, Earth Power, Rock Slide, Sludge Bomb, Protect. It's actually really powerful next to Regieleki, like I said at the beginning of the video. And finally, we have a Chobbleberry, Stack Attacka, Lonely Nature, 252 HP, 252 Attack, 4 Special Defense, 15 defense EVs to allow us to boost our attack stat rather than our defense stat whenever we get a KO. And the Chopperberry uh, just allows us to have a roll to live close combat from plus one Zacian and we absolutely tank a Sacred Sword from plus one Zacian. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. I'm hoping I can showcase uh, Ho-Oh plus, plus uh, Swampert as a pretty solid core, but like I said, it's still a team I'm testing out and this is pretty interesting. We are at the bottom of the ladder, so obviously, you know, it's going to be kind of interesting for the entirety of this video um they really hate stack attack -a. just gonna put that out there look at their stack attack -a switch ins i'm gonna go ahead and just lead off with that to be honest i'm gonna go rillaboom stack attack attack -a. Mm, swampert and ho -Oh isn't terrible here thank you you too and hopefully hopefully i don't just lose <laughs> This team really hates stack, especially if I get like plus one. I guess they don't hate stack, they hate rock slide. Now they hate stack, <laughs> it's stack. I tried recording this earlier and I got the absolute worst of luck like three games in a row. So I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna go work out and I'm gonna come back to this later. I'm just, I'm gonna calm down. That's what you have to do. That's what you have to do when you start losing is just Take your mind off of it. But what sucks is I gotta record a video. <laughs> so I have to play with this game before the end of the day. Or before 5, not 5 p.m., before 4 p.m. I have to get it uploaded and, and edited. This seems like a pretty free fake out onto the landers and a pretty free trick room. Next turn, I, I'm a salt vest, so I should always tank a blizzard. I can just go for like grassy glide into rock slide. And if I connect both of those hits, I'm good to go. Here's the trick room. Uh, I'm actually going to Woodhammer. I'm going to Woodhammer Gyro Ball because I don't think they stay in. And if they do, they don't like it. <laughs> yeah, this will KO. And now the biggest check they have to stack attack is gone. You go for the Freeze Dry, we tank that. I think we're slower than everything they got. So yeah, we're good to just start clicking Rock Slide. Or alternatively, I can focus down the Ninetales because I think they're just going to go Moltres and try to get a Weakness Policy. 
Yeah, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna Grassy Glide and Gyro Ball Ninetales, and I'm gonna get an attack boost before they're able to, uh, <laughs> or I'm gonna, I'm gonna get my attack boost before I attack to make sure that I can actually deal with this Moltres without giving it a policy. And I'm also gonna get in Swampert to block the pretty obvious Fiery Wrath that's gonna come my way in a minute here. And the reason we're Grassy Gliding Ninetales is because they typically are running Focus Sash, and it should not come fan into range where we just always KO. Yeah, wasn't going to tank that. They go for a nasty plot. Um, that's fine. I think here I'm going to have to rock slide now. Because Swampert Ho beats this regardless. Well, you turn on the nine tails and rock slide. They get their weakness policy. They get Berserk. Ooh, they didn't get KO'd. I am actually going to go ahead and save Swampert, because Swampert will not tank that. I need to get one good wide guard off. Yeah. So now I get in my Swampert, and my main priority is going to be this Moltres. We will just Brave Bird, because it's 100% accurate and slightly stronger than Sacred Fire and wide guard, because they should just Fiery Wrath. If they freeze dry my ho <laughs> that wouldn't be very poggers. It would not be very pog champ. I hate that I started saying poggers ironically, and that now it's just in my vocabulary. It's scary. It's a scary thing to become dumb. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I should win this now. Uh, I just go for my sacred fire onto nine tails. I don't even have to. Yeah, I just bray bird. We're good. Nice. Pretty interesting first matchup. Got to see the wide guard come in clutch at the end there. And ooh, okay, Eternatus. Eternatus. I know how good Eternatus can be in this one. This one looks scary. Uh, we have to scout for Power Herb Meteor Beam, but we also have to scout for a Stall Eternatus, which Stall Eternatus gets annihilated by Landorus, to be honest. So I think what I want to do here is lead off Aleki Lando. Bring the Ho in the back. I kind of want to go Swampert. Kind of want to go Swampert, but they also have two Grass types. I think I go stack. Do I go stack? Stack isn't terrible for beating this team. Yeah, I'll go stack. And there's Rillaboom and Cinderwar. They have double fake out, obviously. Uh, what I can do here is just tank the fake out and go. Ooh, you know what I could do? I think I switch in Ho-Oh here and protect the Lando because because, because, because. I have a lot more pressure by doing that. I outspeed both of these mons, right? So it doesn't matter. Let's see if they parting shot or, or a fake out. They go for the fake out. I always sacred fire this Rillaboom and I always earth power this Incineroar. And if they go into Celesteel, it's not the end of the world because I should keep my Rillaboom or I should keep my, my ho depending on how much speed they have in the Rillaboom. And they usually don't run too much. So I think I one shot. So sacred fire there. Earth power there, and the Grassy Glide, I tank that, that's the power of the Naive set, not the Hasty set, and we take two pieces for free pretty much. I'll take that two-piece combo, please. I'll take that two-piece combo and run out the door with it. We are at Popeyes. <laughs> Moxie boosted lore, you are at Popeyes. <laughs> uh, chances of Meteor Beam Sacred Fire, or chances of Meteor Beam set, looking pretty high. So what I'm going to do here is go Regieleki and Protect. Because they shouldn't double here. I think they just go for a KO on the on the boy. And I can Electroweb Earth Power next turn. I'm hoping they're Cosmic Power, if anything. That's a lot easier to beat. Yep, they are offensive. I don't get fully paralyzed, so I Electroweb here. It's not common to run Protect on Eternatus, so I'm going to go for this. This is really bad for me if they are running Protect, though. I, I have to be honest. Oh, they got that wide guard, but I still KO. But I still KO. They, for some reason, were more scared of that thing. We go for the Sacred Fire, the Rock Slide. That should be game. Unless they're Meteor Beam Celesteela and, and have wide guard, but that'd be kind of crazy. That'd be kind of crazy. All right. Yeah, GG. Nice. So, climbing up from the bottom of the ladder here with this ho team.
so far it's been carrying its weight. Let's see if we can uh, keep that momentum until the 30 minute mark, because that's all that I care about. <laughs> that 30 minute mark's all I care about when I make these videos. Is like, Marcus, you don't have to be good. You just have to be good enough for 30 minutes. Uh, they really hate Stack Attacka. I'm going to go Swampert, Stack Attacka, and I'm just going to Wide Guard turn one and Trick Room. And as long as they don't lead off with the... As long as they don't lead off with the Heat Train, I'm fine. Rillaboom's also looking pretty great. I think my last one's going to be Ho-Oh. Does Mewtwo... I should take a Focus Blast from Mewtwo, but I don't know if Mewtwo gets, like, Earth Power. He gets Earthquake. Yeah, I'm fine. So if they lead off Mewtwo with that thing, I'm, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> that thing. It's Tapu Lele. I love Tapu Lele. I think it's a great Pokemon. And I'm really glad it's um, picking up in usage now that Dynamax is gone. Because Dynamax really messed it up. They go Kingdra Whimsicott. These guys don't typically run single target moves. So I can wide guard here. And there's a good chance they're just going to taunt me. There's a pretty good chance they're just going to taunt me. So I'm kind of tempted just to take that thing from them. Give me that. You're going to taunt me. No way you're not taunting. Yeah, there it is. I could have trick roomed. Why was that your priority? Anyways, um, I can go Rillaboom here. Why was that your priority? I'm so confused why you would do that. Actually, I, I always liquidation. So I don't mess. If you're running... Okay, good. I was going to say, if they're running like... Um, oh, great, I can miss now. <laughs> if they were running a, a grass move, I'd be pretty annoyed. They can go Politoed. I don't really care too much. It's Tapu Lele, actually. Uh, I get in my stack attack here. Because they should just hurricane me. And my strongest move is high horsepower. Yeah, my priority is going to be this Kingdra more so than this Lele. Go for the Psychic. That does so much. And they actually do go for the Muddy Water, which is kind of confusing to me, but it's whatever. They're within Grassy Glide range now. Yeah, they should be within Grassy Glide range. And I just target this Tapu Lele. I think. Actually, I'll double target this thing. Yeah. You got one more turn left to Tailwind. Not that it matters. My team's slower than it regardless, but I now have access to Wide Guard, but it doesn't matter. I'm so confused why they didn't bring this Mewtwo. Um... I think what I do here is I go for the high horsepower on the Heatran and I get in my ho -Oh. And they're probably Scarf Lele. Yeah, I lose the Swamper, but it's fine. Go for a Flash Cannon. That special defense drop kind of sucks. But I fake out here and I Sacred Fire and then next turn I Grassy Glide. Dang, that did so much. And they keep getting this. You're kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. That sucks, man. That really sucks. Uh, Woodhammer, hopefully I'm faster than this thing, and hopefully I can somehow beat this. They're most likely... <laughs> Flash fire, so I'm not gonna bother with that. Okay. Yeah, uh, my only out here is getting absurdly lucky like they did. Those special defense drops definitely mattered. As well as the whole, hey, I missed my move. <laughs> yeah, good game. That's a little annoying. That's a little annoying, I have to be honest. Okay, I don't even know what this is. <laughs> Low ladder's a scary place. You never know what you're going to face. Sometimes it looks like garbage, and it actually plays like it's crazy. All right, uh... Probably a pledge team. What if their weakness policy ho -Oh? That'd be insane. I'm going to say it's a pledge team. 
Go Lando Alecki. Covers a lot of options they got. Rillaboom in the back. Stack attack, it doesn't look too terrible, but I think I'm just gonna go Rillaboom Hoa. I go with this. Uh, don't know how to feel about it. Just gonna keep it real with you there. I should be able to one shot this Gigalith with an Earth Power, but I have to be careful in case they uh, Earthquake me or something. So I'm gonna go Rillaboom here, Earth Power the Gigalith. Yeah. Let me go for the Rock Slide. For a Moxie boosted, I see no Gyarados there. True. Big facts, big facts. Uh, I should just be able to Rock Slide here. And Grassy Glide this Crocodile. I don't really need Rillaboom to win anymore. I'll get in my own ho -Oh. Might be Scarf Crocodile. Yeah. One shot. Getting the Reggie Alecky here, because that speed drop's going to be super important to winning. Go for the Electro Web. I don't outspeed the Inteleon, but I should take a hit. Just Spray Bird it. Connect on both. Awesome. Inteleon's pretty much gone at the end of the turn. Hydro Pump. They... <sighs> wow, okay. Thunderbolt here. I end up winning with Landers regardless, I think. So I'll just Spray Bird. Yeah, GG. Nice. Okay. Okay. Now this, this is a this is a person with like good taste. This is a person of culture. Look at that. Look at our first two mons. You have great taste. All right. So, what I am going to do here is lose because I am the inferior player. But I can avoid this outcome by getting lucky. So we're going to do this. I'm gonna lead off Rillaboom and Landorus. I think this Landorus is gonna be the thing that makes the biggest difference in this matchup. Swampert is also gonna make a huge difference because they don't have as many Swampert answers. And I think my last Mon, my last Mon is gonna be the ho -Oh. And I know they look really stack attack weak, but that's what they want you to think. That's what they want, I'm kidding. Uh, I should just lead off stack attack, shouldn't I? I can go Rillaboom stack attack and that's like, it has like no drawbacks. Is that true? Yeah, it has like no drawbacks. <laughs> uh, we'll bring the ho -Oh and the Swampert in the back as well. So maybe, maybe no, maybe no memes here. I'm assuming they're just gonna wanna Sacred Fire the stack attack -a and fake out the stack attack as well because they really don't want that Trick Room up. I can get in my ho -Oh. And it might feel weird. It might seem weird for me not. <sighs> Dang, I have to hold on to this. I could just fake out. I think it's safer just to fake out Hollow and Trick Room. Yeah. Because we're just going to trade fake outs. It doesn't matter. Um, Get in my Swamp right here. Trick Room up. I have to hope they don't burn me, really. 50% chance, 50% chance, we're fine. Are you Earthquake? Please be Earthquake, because then I love that. Oh God. Guys, I'm scared. <laughs> Guys, I'm really scared. I don't want to play this game anymore. I don't want to play this game. Uh, Let me go for the Whirlwind. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. They messed up. Remember when I said I just have to get really lucky? This this was the turn. That was what I was talking about. <laughs> that's 100% what I was talking about. Uh, go for another high horsepower. Get in my Rillaboom. Yep. I get to keep that. Uh, I'm going to double this Torkoal. I'm going to double this Torkoal, which might sound weird, right? It might sound weird, but I don't KO it with a with a regular high horsepower, and they should just get out of there. How much is my Grassy Glide going to do? How much is my, 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 my high... I can't speak my high horsepower. I'm a Woodhammer. Check this out. They get out of there. I'm going to I'm gonna take this Torkoal from them. 
I'll be taking that Torkoal from you, sir. You're in range. Get out of there. Awesome. So now... I'm not feeling too bad about this match. I'm going to yawn this ho -Oh. And I think fake out pressure is really important to winning. Maybe actually my priority is going to be to break that. I'm going to check this out. Hey. We finally got that Sacred Fire miss. We finally got that Sacred Fire miss that we wanted. Cool. Uh, I feel a lot better now. They should just lose if I land like a single yawn. <laughs> I'm going to yawn this thing. And I'm going to Sacred Fire their Raichu. Because I should tank a Thunderbolt. Or a Volt Switch pretty easily. And if I manage to get rid of whatever they want to switch out into. And yawn them. I'm good. I get burned, which kind of sucks. Can I burn you? Nice. Okay. Now, on this turn, on this turn, I'm going to high horsepower this ho -Oh, and I'm going to start Brave Bird in the Swampert. And that should get rid of their Raichu. Oh, their Mago Berry. As long as I connect. Nice. I think I win this. Comes down to yawns. So I'm gonna yawn and protect. Because they're running recover and not protect. One would assume. They have dual wing beat over Bray Bird. Not a good look. Okay. And now I focus down their Swampert, and I should end up winning with my Swampert. Liquidation Brave Bird. Maybe I don't. Maybe I end up losing. <laughs> it's going to be close. Maybe I focus down their Ho-Oh. To be honest, I think that Brave Bird damage is going to matter a lot. To Wing Beat. Oh, they got a crit. Okay. All right. I'm fine. Oh, that crit was really bad. Connect? Okay, we should win. Yeah, because I got my Rillaboom. Oh, that was so close. GG. That crit almost ended my whole career. I would have quit YouTube right there. Just on the spot. Nice. All right. I only have to be good at this game for seven more minutes. <laughs> and by that, I mean get lucky again. Okay. Uh, really interesting team. Really, really interesting team. I should just lead off Swampert like every time, to be honest. Like every single time. No way. Yes way. I follow you. Ooh. What's up? If I could type. If I could type. There we go. What's? Not too much. Nice. All right. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. I'm going to go ahead and lead off Swampert. Stack. Because my Trick Room beats their Trick Room, like, every time. And I'm going to bring the Lando and the ho -Oh. Lando is mainly because I don't want to lose to a Toxpex. I know how annoying that thing can be. I ran it in the last showdown live. All right. But I think if they fail to recognize the importance of Toxapex, the importance of Toxapex to beating Stack Attacka, I'd probably just win with Stack. So they go Incineroar Guard of War, they trace Beast Boost. Not the end of the world. Should be able to get sort of a pin here. And a pin is when you like force them into a situation where they have to trade something. Uh, what I'm gonna do is high horsepower the Incineroar. And I'm gonna go hard into Lando, assuming they're just gonna fake out Stack Attacka. They could even be running like Taunt or something. I really hope they're not Energy Ball Gardevoir, that'd be annoying. <laughs> Yep. 
that's fine. Get some decent damage off, and I would call this a pin. <laughs> they have no switch-ins to Earth Powers, so I would call that a pin. Give me your Incineroar. I think they're more inclined to give me the Incineroar than they are to switch it into something that, you know, doesn't enjoy this hit. And that Shadow Ball didn't do too much. I'm surprised they didn't just click Psychic. There's another Shadow Ball. There's Scarf Gardevoir. Get rid of that. And yeah, I should even take like a Mud Shot from Calyrex Shadow if I really need to. There's Cali Shaddy. Cali Shaddy. And I'm actually going to sack here. Yeah, I'm going to sack the Lando uh, and protect. And then I'm going to wide guard and trick room. And that should probably just be game. Get some damage on you first. They should, feel, they should feel pretty inclined to go for that again. And they didn't get a beast boost on the Gardevoir, so it's fine. It's my Facebook page that I'm part of. Cool. And then next turn, I would just gyro ball and high horsepower the the calyrex because i don't want to i don't want to risk a rock slide miss Ooh, they might even expanding force here yep nice so they shouldn't have any options for beating me if i just rock slide wide guard for the next couple of turns since uh now their expanding force is double target and they can't really undo that. Yeah, I'm fine. Cool. Uh, they helping handed that turn. That makes me want to think that they're... Yeah, I should just be able to gyro ball this turn. Maybe they don't have follow me like that. <laughs> that guy I played while I was practicing. Was that... Was I recording that? Was that, was that a practice video? Or was that a practice battle? Because I was I was battling this guy who was uh, while I was practicing, and yeah, I got the Calyrex. Nice, give me that. And now I should just win by clicking Gyro Ball. But uh, he didn't have follow me on his Indeedy, and I'm like, that just seems like a waste. Just run Tapu Lele at that point. Anyways, we know that this thing's Choice Scarf, so I can just do this. GG, well played. And I'll do one more for the video. I know I'm already at at the 30 minute mark. I can stop being. Or I can stop pretending to be good at this game. Um, <laughs> I mean, I'm on low ladder. Obviously, this isn't like the biggest flex of all time. But, you know, we got to start somewhere with this brand new ladder. GL on your games today. All right. And we'll do one more. We'll do one more. <laughs> okay. Now this. This looks cool. Ho-Oh is going to go absolutely insane here. Same with, ooh, Ho-Oh Swampert is just so good in this matchup. It's so, so good. I'm going to lead off with it. I'm going to lead off with it. I could also, no, we're not going to lead off with that. We're going to go Ho-Oh, Regieleki, and then Swampert in the back. And I think my last Mon is going to be the Lando. You might be thinking, but Marcos Moxie boosted Antonio. What middle name, Perez? Um, <laughs> how are you going to deal with the Arachnid? It's not a big deal. It's just Thunderbolt it, you know? <laughs> okay. Yeah, Ho-Oh goes crazy here. They go Whimsicott, Lander's Theory, and that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, I should be able to deal with this simply by getting in my Swampert. And coping with the fact I'm, a coping with the fact I'm about to get Rock Slid. I can also Volt Switch and just accept the Earthquake in exchange for breaking that Sash, which I'm willing to do. Don't get flinched, please. Life Orb, okay. Uh, on the bright side, they don't really carry anything that isn't a spread move. I'm going to liquidate that thing because it's actually pretty annoying. 
and I'm gonna go into my own Lando here. I can also go into Ho-Oh, because I don't think they rock slide now. I think they would just Earthquake. So they U-turn out. What's getting, what's getting liquidated? Probably Araquanid if they have it. Yep, there it is. Now luckily Araquanid should never outspeed at plus two. I'm base 120. These things are typically zero speed. Let me double check. What was mine? 42. Yeah, I should always outspeed. So I, I should easily be able to Brave Bird here. Yeah, I'm just going to Brave Bird it. And I'm also going to liquidate it in case they switch back into Lando. Hopefully they're not speedy or it for some reason. Nope, got rid of that. Nice. And if they go Lando, we know for a fact we can just wide guard Sacred Fire and we're fine. Yep. They have nothing that is not a spread move, so I'm going to Sacred Fire the Whimsicott to prevent later Tailwinds. Unless they're running Stone Edge. Okay, yeah, no, that just gets blocked, so as long as we don't miss, nice. Get rid of that thing. And now we're going to play the Marcos Needs Regenerator boost game. Because <laughs> they should have Zacian in the back. Yeah, there it is. Actually, no, I always live this hit, so I can just wide guard again. Sacred Fire. I don't really need to play the Regenerator game because I have Lando in the back to deal with the rest of this. Ooh, they Sludge Bomb. That's a pretty interesting ad adaptation. Uh, let me go ahead and yawn your Zacian. Do I save Aleki or Lando? I guess it doesn't matter if I get this yawn off. I'd say Aleki is a lot more important to winning. <sighs> Yikes, okay, that sucked. So what I should be able to do here is get in the Ho-Oh. On a... I don't think... Let me think. Are they going to Rock Slide again? They shouldn't Rock Slide. They should never Rock Slide. So I'm going to yawn this thing. Nice Citrus Berry saved me. The Earth Power. Interesting little set there. Get into my Regieleki. I'm going to double protect, assuming that they would do the same here. Or, I'm assuming that they're just going to protect Earthquake. Yep. And now what I can do is I can Volt Switch. I can just, I can just Thunderbolt here, right? Nah. Let me think. Do I tank this Rock Sled? It's Life Orb. I don't tank that Rock Sled. Ah, oh, this is going to be really close. Let me think. So if I get in Lando here... Mm, I'm going to get Rock Sled regardless if I Volt Switch. I'm going to T-Bolt and get in Lando. <sighs> yeah, we lose. Okay. Uh, I guess my only out is if they miss this Rock Sled. So I'm going to Sacred Fire. It's a pretty interesting Lando set. I don't know, maybe I'm somehow faster. I, I, I'm pretty sure they demonstrated they were faster than me, but... <laughs> yeah, that Rock Slide's going to KO. All right, GG. Oh, well. That's fine. I think we did well enough for a low ladder laddering session, you know. I think the team's good enough, but let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Did you enjoy this video? If you did, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.